Terve! And welcome to... Alright, time to adjust the valves. So you should be top that center, let's see. It is... So, service manual says that the clearance for the intake should be between 0 0.03 and 0 0.08. So something between that is probably 0 0.05. Let's go with that. And again I do a little twist there so we can feel it properly. Uh, loosen the lock nuts. Let's go in all the wires. Until it hits the valve. And when that happens, we need to start doing the twisting. So let's open these one more round. I try to keep those pretty close to the closed position so there is not that much to roll with all the fingers inside them. Then we get the feeler gauge. Too much. But there's a little bit. A little bit loose. That feels like perfect. I don't know, but I already have some kind of feeling. Feeling for... I have feelings for this machine. I don't know about you. Some kind of motherly tending feelings. Not sure, but it's a little bit loose, I think. It almost moves perfectly. That's more like it. Let's call that the best. Pretty nice. Yes. And for the exhaust, it should be between 0 0.08 and 0 0.13. Wonder why there is so much gap for you to choose, but if it's 0 0.08 to 13, I would go with 0. 0 0.010. Let's do tap. I think that this is something that you learn to do by doing. This is my first time, so I don't probably have the correct feel for the drag, but I'm pretty convinced that it's not the rocket science here we're doing. That's how you do the well clearance. I think we are ready to put on the valve caps.
yes, I was going to attach the not the speedometer but the RPM meter uh, in the place, but looks like it's missing something. There is huge gap there. So I think that I found out this earlier that this is does not look that good. So I believe it's broke. Uh, we might have to figure something out. I'm not planning to have uh, the other meter <laughs> which name I cannot remember. If we just can properly seal this up, I think we are good to go. I might squirt some Hylomar there. Just hope for the best. This might also do the trick. It's too big. Looks like there is place for O-ring inside this, but this is probably too big. It's always great if you have a couple of different gaskets and you just hope for the best. Can we go with the bigger one? I think that we just might do it. I cannot change all the parts I would like to be changing, so I need to do my selection to the parts which does count. This actually does count, count your RPM, so <laughs> I think that I also have to test if there is any compression now when the spark plus plug is on place and Let's take that off. And <coughs> everything should be sealed except the intake and exhaust, but let's see. Yeah, well, it turns. <laughs> That's probably the best news. I might test the pressure actually because it's it can be done with. since I have to have this compression tool. Why not to test it? This goes here, and something to turn the engine with. So, should this do something when turning by hand? There we have something in the meter. Some way easier to well, let's just pump. I need to see what it should be. So the pressure is a little bit low. I'm not sure if it's because of it has no engine oil or what not might cause that, but 
to see if the valves are letting air in or out, I add some oil in the cylinder so it will seal the piston rings and then we can see if it helps. So if we have more pressure it might be might be because of the worn piston rings or then this wasn't correctly positioned. Let's try it again. now almost and it's cold engine so the 100 is the magic limit like you don't have the running engine unless you have 100 psi or probably it's just some kind of tornihuhu tower speaking or something but uh, by adding some oil I believe the reason was that the piston rings were like this has been standing really long and now when the piston rings are sealed by the oil I put in, it will give our, us more pressure, but that also might indicate that we are having worn out piston rings, which needs to be changed, but uh, I'm not doing it now because I just put everything together. This should have been done before everything. Please remember to subscribe my channel.